Dix, who would do this to me? I don't know. I think you look pretty good with a monocle. How much exercise would you say mom gets in an average week? Five. It required a bit of a journey, to sort of an emotional journey for both of us to get from where we start at the scene, which is sort of just like unsure of what's happening and what our mother's being told, to sort of traveling through a little bit of our relationship dynamic as sisters. Five what? I, let them figure it out, Max. Okay, that's a good idea, yeah. Five nondescript something or other size of exercise a week. Is that my shirt? Oh, sweet Jesus, just let it go. So you can just see this thing bubbling. Max is asking me about, you know, does she get exercise? And I'm, uh, once again, I just don't get it. And it's probably so fear-based. I think my character is so mortified about the reality. But I think in a selfish way of like, what does this mean to me? When did you notice something was up when you found her sitting in your car in her pajamas? Is that what finally tipped you off? Okay, once I woke up in a canoe wrapped in a tablecloth, and I don't have dementia, and I know this because I've never forgotten that sometimes you can be a little bit bitchy. Oh, that's nice. And for me, I have no experience acting. It was one of the biggest scenes I had in the series. Zoe worked with me on that tirelessly. She took time out of probably her day off or her time off, and we ran it. I'm going to conservatively say 25 or 30 times from, from beginning to end. What if mom had a stroke and we just don't know about it? What do you mean? Like sometimes people that age have little things and if that's the case, maybe we can fix it. It just required so much connection between her and I and it needed, it really needed that um, I think for the audience to really believe that, although these two are so different, and although Jan is such a big sort of character on the show, and my character is much more sort of, you know, in a whole other world, that I think in that scene you see some history with them, and you start to see them as sisters, and you start to see them, the connection that they actually have. Sometimes I just lie in bed at night and I think about mom. And she's just gotten so small and frail. It's just so weird. I feel guilty all the time. Why? Because when I had her move in with you, I was just being selfish. And since then, it just seems like she's gotten worse. I mean, what if I made her worse? What if you did? It's one of my favorite scenes in the show. And it's, it's like a big reveal because the doctor does say that our mother's starting down this road and that we're going to have to figure it out. You know what I think? What? We deserve some ice cream. Hell yeah. <laughs> and so we go get a cone. We're walking across the street from the hospital or wherever we are. We'd stopped at an ice cream shop, I would imagine. And this little red Miata with this guy, you know, this millennial guy honks a horn at us. Sorry, are we not moving fast enough for you? Just get out of the way, ladies. Move! Okay, what did you say? I said get your ugly asses out of my way. It's like the three of them just all of a sudden snap. Okay, hold this, Mom. Oh, oh, careful, Maxie. Make me move, I dare ya. If you're a huge pregnant ass dents my car, I'll sue you. Max, my sister who's pregnant, like six months pregnant, gets up on the hood of his car and dumps a milkshake all over it. Woo! <laughs> Obviously, we've had the kind of afternoon where, listen, dude, one more thing. You're welcome to hell! Okay, that did not go the way I wanted it to go. They become, um, a family, right, in this weird, weird way. Anyone seeing this? Uh, You're an idiot! Good luck with your little pee 